We're Steve Malax, is lead coach for East Fremantle. And Steve, that was a real gutsy win coming through in the last quarter, getting over the line for the Sharks. Yeah, it was, mate. Uh, we lost Riley done the first couple of minutes, so we're down at 21 men, and young Aiden Tropiano was um, probably on one and a half legs, so... To, to come a lot we did in the last, particularly last half, was terrific. Um, you know, because we only played on Monday, so Perth played a week ago. So um, I was really happy with that. Yeah, just to, talking about that five-day break, South Fremantle got rolled today. But, um, I mean, was that hard for the guys to, to deal with that short of a break coming up another big game today? Um, maybe in a mental sense it might be a little bit easier if you've lost, you know, because you, you probably can't wait to get back out there and play. Actually, both times we lost both derbies and both times we won the, the next week. Uh, maybe if you win, um, you know, it's, you're probably on a bit of a high and it might be harder to, uh, harder to come back to, to earth or reality a bit. But oh, I don't really know what happened from their viewpoint, but, but I felt that um, mentally we were ready for the game because of what happened last Monday, yeah. Three-quarter time, you know, the game was really in the balance. What was your message to the guys in the, in the huddle then? Uh, I was scratching around for things to say to give them inspiration. <laughs> uh, just said we can win this and just stick to the plan. And uh, um, uh, we sort of rearranged a few things with our forward line. But, but really, um, st- you know, stick, stick to what they know best. And, and ultimately just trust that it's going to come true. Jamie McNamara played a really good game. Was he among your best, do you think? Yeah, yeah, he played really well from the, the word go. Um, yeah, we played him in half back of late, and uh, no, he's, he's worked really hard over pre season and uh, probably only getting the rewards in the last couple of weeks. No, he played very well. What about Justin Monaco? First game today, you, you put him in a key position later yeah. in the game. He sort of seemed to get get a little more confidence. Yeah, he got a little bit more confidence, a little bit more comfortable in the second half. And the, the first half, um, you know, things weren't functioning all that well between the mids and the forwards, but he, no, I was quite happy with his second half, yeah. Got a lot of buys coming up now, so how do you handle the team over the next few weeks? Oh, we're ready for a break this week, mate. Um, we've had, um, what is it, seven games, um, um, pretty, you know, and just played two two in five days, so staff included, we're ready for the break, um, and then we've, we've got a really funny fixture, you know, we... I think we play about three games in seven weeks, so that'll, that'll test um, that'll test us how we how we come through all that. But at the moment, we're uh, we're, we're really happy to have won. Great, all right, thanks very much.